Viewer discretion is advised. Thanks so much. Boom. Oh. A woman confesses to her significant other that she gave a co-worker oral sex. He feels that's worse than cheating because she didn't get anything in return. Does he have a point? Hell yeah, he got a point. Because why are you sucking a nigga dick? <laughs> that's the worst thing a female can do to a man. Like, if you suck a nigga dick, it ain't no coming back from that. Because I got to kiss you, you got to talk to me. And now you just got this nigga dick breath. You feel me? I understand. No, I wouldn't understand if you fucked him either. But like sucking his dick is even worse. And then you didn't fuck. So it's just like, I, like you, you dumb. You stupid. You ain't even getting that. <laughs> and you just sucking dick. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's how I would feel. You know what? It's so funny that you say this now. Because we had this conversation a while ago. And you are, it's just so hypocritical. You How's feel it, like, you feel like it's okay for you to eat other people's vaginas. It's not about, and we're, it's not not talking about it, we're not talking we, about me. We're not talking about, it's a, a woman. A woman confesses to her significant other that she gave a uh, co-worker okay. oral sex. It's not. But what I'm saying is still hypocritical. You feel like it's okay to eat a woman's vagina. But yeah, I'm a fuck a girl, though. No, you, that. I'm no. not about to just eat nobody's pussy. You though. did it before. Yeah, before it, you, I met you. And I was, well, it don't matter. You've done it before. This ain't got nothing to do with it, though. You did it with me. You would have literally just ate my butt and left it at that. So I know nah, for a fact. I was coming to get some of that. Boo, no, you wasn't. I was coming to get some of that. <laughs> know that. I knew you was going to wake me up in the middle of the night. Yeah, like, hey. now, now he a mind reader. I know. That's because that's but what no, I But no, if it's a girl, I feel like... um. No, I ain't doing no shit like that. I feel like that's dirty. That's, that's dirty as fuck. Why would you just suck a nigga dick? I don't know. I ain't. Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't fuck with shit. I don't like know, that, man. You gotta get out of my life forever. I ain't gonna make you guys this life. Shit. I ain't gonna you suck a nigga dick. Again. I ain't gonna never talk to that bitch again. Oh, I don't okay. give a fuck. Well, I mean, I don't got. I don't. Uh, uh. You're nasty. Right. You're fucking nasty. Um, I would not understand. Uh, and if I was a man. I will leave you That's it. Mm -hmm. I will leave him. A woman signet. Why is this all about women? I don't know. What are you saying? A woman's significant other wants her to change clothes because he feel like the outfit is too seductive. She feels the outfit is empowering and will not change. Who's right? Explain. Mm, in our situations, you've worn some things and I was like, hmm. But I don't think I ever like made you change you did like once probably not though because i was all i'm like damn you about to wear that and you're like well let's run i'm like this shit your ass hanging out but i'll be like if you want to wear it if it make you happy go ahead like what and my butt was hanging out it was like it was like some shorts one time it was like summertime was that with you no no you can't no I you think you left me like you went somewhere and then we was together later on and that's when i said something this is what I'm saying. and i remember you had on like some some type of shorts and your ass is just like he can't busting. first of all i only wore like two pairs of shorts since i met you no chill 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 that's dirty i think if you want to wear it then i think you should wear it because yeah, that's say, the thing who's say, right yeah who's right I, you're right because these are your clothes but you also have to like be mindful about other people staring at you looking at you for that reason because it's seductive so if that's what you want to do Go ahead. I can't make you do shit. You feel me? That's how I feel. But I, even if it was like a bathing suit or something like that on the beach, and we if we together, like I, I definitely wouldn't mind. But if you out with like people, yeah, people, I'd be yeah, like, mm, no, you, you sure? Yeah, you, you sure? You sure you want to wear that shit? Yeah, yeah. But I still wouldn't be like take that take shit that. off. You did it like twice, and I did. I took it off. I don't know if I did. Yeah, that. because some things like as women, we know, we know what is revealing we know what is too tight we know we know mm -hmm. so like i feel like if my husband got an issue with something that i'm wearing i ask his opinion for a reason i ask his opinion every time i get dressed and if he be like oh i mean that's a lot of cleavage out I'll, I'll probably <laughs> change my shirt you know what i'm saying so I'll be throwing it out there I'll just be like, but hey. i need him to throw it out there because it matters what you think you know what i mean because i'm your wife so it matters what you think about what i'm wearing and you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't feel like either person is wrong. 
I feel like he's right for telling his opinion, and I feel like she's right for standing her ground. We just all got different morals and values, and for me, if my husband want me to change my clothes, I'm going to change. Yeah. That's it. But I also understand that you got your own style, you got your own swag, you like you know, you know how you like to look. So right. I, 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 I do know how that. I like to look, but I still care if it's appropriate. We got two more cards left, y'all. Alright. All right, your life partner is wrongfully sentenced to twenty years in prison. Would you be willing to abstain uh from sex until they get out? Explain. No. You wanna hold it down? Mm -mm. For twenty years? First of all, I'm 26 now. That means I'm gonna be 46 when yeah. you come home. Yeah. I'm in my prime. My coochie is juicy as ever. And you want me to just. Wait. Cobweb my shit. 20 years. 20? That's it. Wrongfully accrued. Wrongfully at that. Like, I that mean, my fault. I never said it was your fault. But. Life is life. I mean, mm. what you want me to do? I want you to spend your time trying to get me out. That's what I want you to do. You want me to be Kim Kardashian? Why well, not? I'm not saying that That's I won't hold it down sometimes, but I am going to say you you going to have to allow me to find, like, 20 years. I'm going to need it. You going to need at least 15 years to... Not that's 15 your, years, but like every, at least once every six months. Or, no, 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 not every six months. I say at least once, like every year. No, 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 you did. I understand because I probably wouldn't hold, hold that shit down. Either. But you wouldn't talk to me about it. I would be like, boo, listen, I ain't gonna. I probably gonna... wouldn't want to hear that in jail, though. I, de like, okay. I would be I would be fucked up, devastated. No, but I'm gonna still hold you down. This, this thing, I ain't gonna be making love with nobody. I had nothing like that. This is for pure orgasm purposes. Why can't you get a toy then for 20 years? A toy? Even like a fake penis. Now you know I don't do them. The fake, you know, the Plastic big, ain't the same. The big nine uh, uh, inch. Mm -mm. They be having 11 inch dicks and No, nah, baby, that ain't for me. That ain't my lifestyle. But 20 years, I just feel like that is a lifetime. Like, that is a whole long time. Like, or maybe it'd be legal by the time you be back. So, it's not that I don't, because I'm going to love you regardless, and I'm going to be there when you get home. We're not talking about that. But let's be realistic. If I was in jail for 20 years, I would say, listen, you got to live your life. Like, so I can't have no more kids ever. I'm not, so I'm already ripped out. I can't have no more kids. So we can't have no family. Bigger family. Unless I come to jail and they, you know, give us some time in the room. Amen. See, if, they, if that was the case, if I could come and visit you, because I know they doing that now. If I come and visit you and they give us a little apartment and we can do our do, baby, I got you for the whole 20. Yeah. I got you for the whole twomp. Okay. The whole twomp time, because you're going to have to get me pregnant. Yeah. So I can have some more kids, though. But are you going to be fucking while you're pregnant? That's the thing. No, boo, did I even really want to fuck you while I was pregnant? Sometimes. Sometimes, but not for real. I, that just wasn't like on my mind, like, oh, yeah, what's that thing? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but man. if it was me, I would give you to go ahead, like, look. I would go but ahead. You, but, right, but you got to be respectful. You can't just I be about like. To get nobody pregnant. No, you just can't be like 20 women, any women. No. You can do it like once a year. What the fuck you mean, once a year? See? You see the standard? I said I'd do it once a year. He was like, oh. Now I say you can do it once a year. It's like, what the fuck you mean once a year? I want to do it with random bitches every day. See, that's your Not problem. every day. Anyway. Every time I like go out and I'm about and the bitch be like, mm. But she got to look good, though. I ain't going to fuck Will your bitches. track record don't say that. Come on, not, not all. Like, some of I didn't say all of them. I just said your track record. I ain't even talking about your people you was in a relationship with. Oh, I okay. just said just your right. track record, come period. On, all right, come on, read the next last card. Okay. Now. While surprising your significant other at work with food, you ask your coworker where they are, and they respond jokingly, oh, they went to lunch with their work wife or husband. What happens next? What happens next is I'm going to politely call you because I want to meet your work wife and let her know who your real wife is. <laughs> Me? I'm kicking down motherfucking doors. Boom! Where the fuck you at, bitch? Who the fuck is this nigga? Did you say bitch? Yeah. Boo, you was not gonna call me no oh, bitch. I ain't gonna call you no bitch. But I'm like, boom! Who the fuck is this? Uh-huh. 
I'm gonna be mad as fuck. And I might slap that nigga. What do you know? Especially if he's sitting too close to you. I'm like, move, get you, move your bitch ass. Ow. You remember your work husband, wife? Ooh. You tried to do it to her in Miami? Ooh! That was not my work wife, bro. That was just a, a witch bitch. Anyways. But I wouldn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But no, bro, no, I mean, it depends. I'd be like, though, okay, where they go to work at? I mean, where they go to lunch at? Yeah. And, um, but nine times out of ten, I'm already here your location anyway. But you know what? It, de- it really depends, though, because, I mean, like, yeah, saying, like, the work wife shit, is, it can be sensitive. But, but there are really, like, some good people who you work with who are like cool as fuck mm-hmm. and y'all got like that type of chemistry relationship but it's Just not a like friendship. Yeah, it's a, it's a real mean, good friendship the world put a title on it now yeah and that's cool but at the end of the day i trust him and if i gotta beat the hoe up i gotta beat her up but i'm not gonna beat her up because he went to lunch with his co-worker right, yeah. like that is acceptable you can go to lunch with your co-worker yeah. i surprised you if i would have told you i was coming you would have said okay well i'm gonna stay here but it's not oh he is at work with a bitch no like i mean you have a life you're still a person you're a human being and if you decide that you want to go to lunch with a friend that's a girl of the girl that's a friend of yours Mm -hmm. because nine times out of ten bitches know that i'll fuck them up anyway um then he can do that you know what i'm saying and it ain't like oh i gotta text you and say i want to lunch with such and such i mean that would be nice but if you don't i'm not gonna die like it's not like a I'm thinking nine times out of ten, you already gonna know who she is if we like if we if, if, you, we if y'all got like a, that, a friendship like, like yeah, that. I'm like, you gotta meet my wife. Type I was shit. about to say because if you at work with somebody and that's the person you constantly talk to, yeah. that them stories gonna come home. He gonna be yeah. like, "Dear Timmy, what that I said today?" You know what I'm saying? So I'm not. Mm. I don't know. I just don't react like that. If you go to lunch with your friend, go to lunch with your friend. You at work. Yeah. You ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's it, it will be the same if you was at home. Boo, somebody such and such said um, they want to grab some tacos today. Cool, cool. All right, bye. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to be around for everything because the world know what it is. And if somebody see them that I know, it's going to come to my phone anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not just, I'm, I don't know. I'm not really worried about that. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, I'm about to go have a threesome with them at the restaurant. They said jokingly. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I get you. I got it you. ain't funny no more. No, I just, it just threw me off when you said something. Because he wanted Cause to have that's a threesome. I've been all my life. Oh, he should have did that before we got married. You right. Yeah, no, you want to get unmarried so we can do it. I mean, just for like a, a couple of days. And let me find mine. And then I'll pop a pile. And then I'll come Let you there. find your what? The people who I'm, I want to threesome with. Because I know you ain't going to be down with it. So I got to go find two other bitches. Gonna be cool. You wanna have a threesome without me? I would love to have one with you, but you be tripping. Did Talk he just say he wanna, another... First of all, shut up. Did you just say you want a divorce so no, you can have a threesome with other bitches? I said, just give me a couple days so we can be unmarried. Like, for, like we can just say we unmarried for a couple days. No, that's infidelity. Uh, all right, never mind that. But did you just say so you can have a threesome with other bitches? Because I feel like you already got these bitches in mind. Who is they? I don't know. You lying. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm going to have to go find these women. They ain't bitches no more. Mm. They're women. Oh, now they women. But he just kicked down my door and said, who the fuck is that, bitch? You pick long ass questions. Did I? I know. you. That first one, you, your ass went in for 30 minutes. I sure did because you can cut that up. But I went in because we ain't talked about it right. in a minute. And, and we should, you know. No, because it, 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 it's got me thinking. No, maybe I should be like celebrating some What's things. the problem with getting me a gift? It's no, no, no problem with getting you a I'm gift. I'm just saying. It's no problem. I'm just saying. I'll get you some gifts this year. I'm going to get you more gifts than I ever have in you, these past six that, years. That ain't what I... Okay. Yeah. This is another episode of Our Talks. Our Talks in the building. You know. And then, uh, like I said, man, like, these talks ain't always like... Happy, happy and pretty and oh my happy, God, everything's happy. perfect. No, no we go through shit. shit. It's some real shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we gonna try our best to not like withhold anything uh or try to like what is it? Make make it um picture perfect. Picture perfect because that's not what life is. That ain't what it is that's at all. That's not what this relationship is, that's not what the world is. Because we've been through trials and tribulations Man, so and we shit. still go through things. So like I mean we're learning and we're evolving as we learn. So I mean, 
you know, if we got some stuff to say, we don't have an issue with saying it because somebody out there may be going through the same thing and y'all may be able to give us some advice on, you know, how to look at situations and how to maneuver through situations too. If you watch through the whole video, you're amazing. And uh, we love you so much. Our goal is to be more consistent and push out these videos, but we need y'all help. We need y'all to be engaged with us. Drop us comments, ask us questions, all of that stuff, all of that be motivation to keep going. Thanks. So don't think that y'all supporting us. We don't notice, they don't know we notice, and we need y'all support, so. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. You, know. you feel me? And um, we'll see y'all in the next video. y'all. Peace. Mm, that was good. I love my baby. I love my baby. I love my baby. I love my baby. Bam! Ow!